Hi, my name is Beth and I'm a sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. In today's video, I'm going to give you some tips for hacking your sewing patterns. If you're not familiar with the term hacking in regards to sewing patterns, that means taking the design of a sewing pattern and altering it to get something a little bit or very different. Hacking potential is pretty much endless and it's a really great way to get more life out of your pattern and to explore your own creativity and develop your own personal style. To find inspiration for hacking patterns, you can look at other things that people have made by going on Instagram and looking at hashtags. There's even a hashtag called you can hack it. And you can look at that to see how other people have hacked a pattern. One way that I often get inspired to do a hack is if I see an inspiration garment on Pinterest or something, and I think, oh, I want to make something like that. And I don't have the exact pattern, but I have a similar pattern and I can adapt it and make some changes to match my inspiration. That's one way that I think a lot of people really get started hacking is you come up with an idea for how you want something to look, you find a similar pattern, and then you adapt it and make changes to get your desired outcome. So let's talk about some ways that you can hack a pattern. The easiest way and probably a good place to start is changing the length. So that could be having short sleeves and making them long sleeves. It could be having a dress and taking it from a medium length down to a maxi length. Same with a skirt, just changing the length of a skirt. Or you could even take a top pattern and lengthen it into a dress. A lot of people have taken my Lou Box top pattern and lengthened it to make a dress. Another fun way to get started with pattern hacking is to color block your pattern. Color blocking is essentially cutting right through your pattern at some point and then sewing two different colors. I'll put in a photo here of how I color blocked and hacked my Lou box dress pattern. I have a whole blog post about it and I'll link to it down below. When you color block, the key thing is that wherever you cut through your pattern, you're going to want to add seam allowance back in on either side to make sure that you'll end up with the same length in the end. Another popular way to hack a pattern is to add a little ruffle to the end of a sleeve or a hem. A ruffle can be a circular ruffle, which is a little bit more complicated, or it can just be a rectangle that's longer than the original part of the garment and then gathered to fit. It's a fun way to make a peplum or add a little detail to your sleeves. Another fun way to hack a pattern is to add details like buttons or zippers. Here I have a loop box top where I added an exposed metal zipper to the center back seam. I have a blog post about this and I will link to it in the show notes. Likewise, you could add a button placket to the back or center front. You could add it to a shoulder, a side seam. It's really pretty endless. Buttons and zippers are a nice design detail that don't always have to be totally functional. You can just use them as a little extra pizzazz. Another easy way to change or hack a garment is to change the neckline shape. For example, you could change from a curved neckline, you could scoop it lower, have it higher, or you could make it square or V-neck. It's really, really endless. And a great way to finish one of those different neckline shapes is with a facing. And I have a whole blog post about how to change a neckline to a V-neck and how to make a facing to finish it. I'll link that down in the show notes too. Another way to hack a pattern is to add a slit or an opening. So on the side of your skirt, you could add a long slit, maybe in the front or the back. You could even do it on the sides of your shirt or to your sleeves. Another way is you could actually do a cutout opening. I've done this in the back of a dress before, and it's a really fun way to add an extra detail and something special. You can also change the shape of your sleeve. Maybe instead of having a tapered sleeve, you make it wider or you add a ruffle, add a flounce. I recently hacked this top and added a bell sleeve. So instead of it tapering down at the elbow, I added this little circular bell sleeve to the end. 
You can also change the shape of your skirt. Maybe you're making a dress and it has a gathered skirt. You could change that to a pleated skirt or a fitted skirt. And then from there, you could change it from a tapered view to a really A-line view or something long and flowy. It's really pretty endless. And a great way to change the shape of your sleeve or skirt is to combine two patterns. So when you're combining a bodice and a skirt pattern, the thing you're really gonna to want to pay attention to is how the skirt and the bodice fit together at the waistline seam. So you'll either want to take one pattern that you like, maybe you'll take the bodice and you like the width of the bodice and then your skirt pattern that you're going to fit up to it, you'll wanna measure that finished waistline measurement and adjust it so that it matches the finished waistline measurement of your top or your bodice pattern. You wanna make sure that when you measure the pattern that you're measuring along the seam, seam line and getting the finished measurement and not along the cut edge because those are often not the same. On this top, I added, I hacked together two patterns and I took this little sleeve extension from one pattern and added it onto an existing shirt. So to do that, I just measured the pattern and I cut it down so that the opening for the seat, the little bell sleeve would match the opening on my sleeve. So it takes a little bit of tricky stuff, um, just making sure that those seam lines are gonna match where you're stitching them together. I think it's easiest to do, like if you're doing a dress and you have a bodice and a skirt, I think it's easiest if you're doing gathers or pleats to make sure that your skirt's gonna match your top. Another way to hack a pattern is to swap the kind of fabric that you're using. So you, if you have a woven pattern, you could try making it in a knit fabric. And sometimes you'll wanna go down a size. You can also try taking a pattern that's for knit fabric and using woven fabric. But you wanna be more careful with this and really look at the ease in the pattern. If the pattern has negative ease, you will not wanna swap in woven fabric. But if you have a little bit of ease in there, you can go up a size or two and try making it with woven fabric. I've even made a top where the front was knit fabric and the back was woven fabric, and it was a pattern for a knit tank top, and it actually worked pretty well. The one thing that's gonna be super tricky when you're hacking patterns is if you try to put a sleeve into a fitted bodice and you're trying to match a sleeve that was designed for a different arm side, that's gonna get really tricky. And unless you're pretty advanced in pattern making, I recommend sticking with the same arm size shape that you have with the sleeve pattern piece. It's much easier to adjust the bottom of the sleeve and the shape of the sleeve than it is to adjust the shape of the arm side. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or requests for future videos. And if you enjoy these videos and want to support the channel, you can visit my pattern shop link down below or buy me a coffee and donate to support the channel. I'll also put a link that, to that down in the show notes. Again, there are countless ways to hack your patterns and it really opens up a ton of possibilities for your sewing. If you haven't already, I would be so honored if you hit the little subscribe button down below and then hit the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Happy sewing.